our climate is warming. And nowhere is this having a greater effect than in the Arctic. This year, the temperature climbs to a staggering 38 degrees Celsius, melting sea ice faster than ever. And one Arctic animal is affected more than most. To feed, walrus need a combination of a shallow seabed, abundant clams, and ice flows on which to rest. But there are now fewer places to do so, making each summer more difficult than the last. Especially so for a new mother. Three days ago, she had to leave the herd to give birth on her own. And since then, she hasn't left her calf's side. Nursing mothers need nearly twice as much food. But they can't leave their calves alone while they themselves feed. So she must go in search of others to help her care for her young. A newborn walrus is able to swim from day one. But he's not yet strong enough to travel far. So, for his first journey, he hitches a ride. With fewer ice flows each year, they must swim further to find help. And until then, his mother can't feed. Even when they do find others, the ice must be low enough for the calf to climb out. Too high. This looks just right. But with suitable ice and short supply, space is very limited. It's not the welcome they needed. Even when there's enough ice, without anyone to help, she is unable to feed and must stay with her calf. Their search must go on. The calf will depend on her for the next three years. Wherever she goes, they will go together. In the next decade, the summer sea ice could disappear altogether. If that happens, even for the Arctic's most seasoned travelers, there may be nowhere left to go. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to continue receiving videos like this. Have a great day.